Steve Evans, two very different halves of football. Yeah, very much so. I think we're frighteningly ahead in the first half. Possession, chances, two clear penalties for handballs not given. Uh, you know, the referee doesn't give them, but there's a hostile crowd against the performance. Second half, we never come out, did we? It's a poor performance in the second half. Both goals easily preventable. But these are the games, from my point of view, that that'll learn a lot of the characters, and then we'll decide where to chop the key. And we're making decisions as we go forward for the next one, two more games. Did they come at you harder in the second half, or did were your players to blame? Okay. Well, I think we did do a job second half. They've got a lot of quality here, don't they? They just built a good side. Um, you know, you you know where they are on the table, and you know probably you know a couple of months ago we thought they were going to seventy two to go into automatic. So. Um, but they're full of good players. Um, I think when we went to 10 men in the last 15 minutes, it probably makes the performance look more convincing than it was. Um, but they're not my problem, my problem is us. In second half to a man, we've seen him jump out of tackles a couple of times, not go for headers. We'll pay our price, won't we? Just didn't have the ball. Yeah, we, so we, did, we had the ball, we, we got the ball back, but then we gave it away. Mm. And it, you have to keep the ball. I'm disappointed in the referee, I have to say it. I'm disappointed he's with decisions all night. Um, I'll speak to him, he's a very honest man, Chris. But I'm not being funny, I need to get I need to get my young daughter, or young grandson as one to get a referee's whistle. Watch the eclipse and see the other two penalties for handball in the box at no name. And as we all know, as we found out on Saturday and at different times of the season, I think goals change games, don't they? I think if we go in front tonight, they'll probably they'll probably collapse a little bit. You weren't helped at the start of the second half with Luke Norris coming off. No, look look was look listen, Luke was uh, feeling his hamstring a lot better on Saturday. But the tallies many he's got through and we said to him, we'll, we'll, we'll take a chance. And at half time, I think that he was fine the first half. I just think when you stop for half time, that little um, strain, if you like, suddenly sort of rears its head and we're not getting a lot of the ball. And that's that made the decision to, to take the off. We've, get, we've got other days for that. I, I thought he was very good in the first half. And uh, obviously, as the game wore on, things just weren't happening for you as well, was it? You didn't no, get in any luck at yeah, all. Yeah, listen, in the end, they're, they're a good side. In the end, when we've got to 10, it's. It's extremely difficult, cause a couple of little nervy moments, which are easily or collectively to blame for the long start score near the end. Um, but we didn't do enough in the second half, so there's no excuses. Good luck to Mansfield. I was talking to Carl and Radford today about what's happened, and uh, we both finished it with wishing each other well. But you know, I've been I've been at this football club. It's it's got great owners. You can see tonight they, they don't like you, they like you, and um, but when you leave them, we won the feet in 23. You understand what you may get when you come back. I was just going to say it was uh, a bit of a heated reception for you. Well, listen, we, I think this man knows me better than him. We'd have been a league winner for the state, but we don't all make the right decisions at the right time. And if I was a Glasgow, well, I am a Glasgow Celtic supporter, and if a manager left us 23 unbeaten and looking as if you're sailing towards promotion, and I'd probably be when he comes back as well. So, but we've got that out of the way. I wish them well. I'm desperately hoping they got to League One. The fans deserve it, more importantly, the Radford family who are good fans, spend some time with them in the summer. They deserve to get promotion. Okay, two games remaining now. You hinted there that perhaps you were looking at the players and looking for a reaction. Does that mean that you're going to perhaps try some of the other squad members well, as well? I, I think the reaction comes through because we've had five or six games we've been very good. We've mm. dominated all those games. Mm. You know, we lost 1-0 at uh, Homey uh, Oldham and I think I said they were Bally Clavers. I think it was true. You know, there's one shot at goal, we about 50 and couldn't score a goal. But the boys have been great, but there's always a there's always a downside when you come off that run and you're safe with a mentality change. I think, I think some of the boys, I think people at Boswick went out and did his job and Pemi was good and the certain ones that hadn't done the job at the certain ones didn't. Okay. Thanks for your time.